Chen Shang, one of the most complex terms surrounding poverty. Let's try to understand it. Hey everyone, I'm Siggy, and I'm here today to bring you a short sort of postscript for the Shang-Chi Poor Tea Lexicon video I did. There was one term I didn't go into much detail in that video, and that is Chen Shang, or aged aroma. Today, I want to talk about it a bit more, because this really is both one of the most interesting and one of the most complicated terms in probably the entire lexicon, to be honest. So, Chen Shang or Chen Wei, aged aroma, is not a single specific aroma, it's more of an overall impression about a tea's maturity and the presence of a variety of fragrances that indicate said maturity. Some drinkers associate it with old wooden furniture, others associate it with earthiness, and some others then say that it's a sort of low and reserved fragrance. There's a large diversity of opinions regarding what specifically aged aroma is supposed to be. Chen Shang is very much a strictly positive quality of tea, while Chen Wei can be considered more neutral. This basically reflects the same thing with Shang and Wei that we've already talked about before. Aged aroma should not cause any kind of discomfort. It should be very pleasant. It can be related to the multitude of substances produced in the slow breakdown of the tea's fibers. It can also be understood as a positive evaluation of a poor tea that has been stored properly. Some of the previously mentioned fragrances can contribute to that impression. The original pictograph of Chen describes something growing in a field next to a mountain. Later on, it transformed to represent the concept of something artificial or man-made. In that sense, having Chen Shang in poverty can be understood as an affirmation of the success of a certain storage arrangement. Another way in which this can be understood is that the tea itself has settled into a stable arrangement. Over the course of its life in storage, various fragrances transform and dissipate. More complex aromas take longer to dissipate, so they become a stable part of the tea after all the simpler fragrances have dispersed. Chen Xiang is what remains at the end of a long process of slowly transforming and peeling away the other aromas. A process that starts with Qing Xiang, a fresh fragrance, moves on to Hua Xiang, a floral fragrance, then crosses over Mi Shang, the honey fragrance that I've also previously mentioned in the Shang-Chi video. Then it's followed by Yao Shang, a medicinal fragrance, and ultimately we arrive at Chen Shang, the aged aroma. This whole notion also ties into the concept of layered feeling, or Tseng Tse Gan, which I am going to discuss in a future video, because it's something that I think can only really be understood properly after we've learned about basically all of the other stuff. So there are going to be a bunch more videos, and probably somewhere near the end, we're finally going to be able to properly discuss the layered feeling that one gets from good poor tea. I hope you're going to stick with me until then, and I hope you enjoyed this brief postscript on aged aroma. So, I hope we'll see each other again in uh, a future Poor Tea Lexicon video. Goodbye.